up? It's 3 2, and we are back here with the Ace Attorney. Now, we are going to start our or finish up our day two investigation. Mm, I don't 100% know where we're supposed to go. We go to Gosper's Law Offices? No. Ah, fresh air. Gotta say, freedom feels great. Save yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving is much more fun. Oh, God. Come on. Is that gonna be so much fun whenever it refuses to pay your bail again? Right, I'll behave. Oh, dear. What should we do? I don't know. I've been in detention this whole time. I think I'll let you decide what should we do. Or what we should do. Deal? Well, any thoughts you want to share? Well, I was in detention all day. She probably threw about me the whole time she was there. No, that's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. Don't believe it. This old guy's the first restriction is my badge. I get it. Yep. I got your feet out now. You're not, Keith. Nick, now's a chance to clear things up. Sir, no, I'm not, Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're to investigate murder that took, hap that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Um, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. All right, I'll help. About one condition. When this case is over and done, you'll run the white noodle. You made that promise. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey. Anything is this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. It's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, did I just... You too, Meg? Yes. Bringing a tear to this old man's eyes. Now, as he wanted. Hello, hello, squad. I was talking to the bird again. How would he get him to talk to us? Like photo. Yep, I've seen this. You know something about this, sir? Yes, it's okay. You can call me dad. Dad, you know something about this? Uh, yep. The other night out on the lake. I know all about that. I've seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose, since you're taking over the shop and all. Well, you saw, okay. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark aside. Probably night. Uh, yep. That's from midnight. Okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. I heard another bang. This is good. This is good. A little while later, this boat comes back, and a young man walked by the window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yep. What'd he say? I forgot. I'll remember in court tomorrow. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, I promise. We need that. We need to know that earlier than that. You know what? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Get next door. You always make, you always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing that tattered old coat. What's you talking about? Detective gum shoes. Because Evan tells me to come down to the court tomorrow. Really? But I don't think we're getting much useful information. I think you're right. I have one more question. Polly, Polly, have you forgotten something? Don't forget. DL6. Squawk. Huh? What did you say? One more time, Polly. Don't forget. DL6. Squawk. DL6. Hey, mister. I mean, dad. I'm getting weird. Who's this old guy? Let's figure out who that old man is. Lock the door from the other side. Where could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on the steel six. Maybe she has to take gum shoes. Okay! Now we're getting somewhere. Fuck, dude. It's just so kind of, it's just kind of annoying, you know? Because it doesn't make clear what it needs. Hey, pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. Try this time. Actually, you want to ask something. Ted Gum Shoes, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. Can't help with that, but it has something to do with the current case. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edwards forbade us from reading the file. I'm afraid I can't show you them either, pal. 
However, if you can, I guess I'll consider. So if we can convince Edgeworth then, yeah. The old man who runs is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? How do you, that's supposed to be a top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. Said so first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Lot of Heart yesterday. And for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Not suspicious. Okay. What's that? A parrot? The old man at the boat where Uncle Shaw's parrot. The parrot knew about that incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgot something? Squat! Don't forget DL6! Squat! Pretty sure that odd man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if the old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I get you. Sounds like you'll need the information on the DL6 incident. I'll give you special permission if you, uh, to go in and find what you need. Way to go, Detective Gumshoes. All right, Nick, to the records room. It's time when we face Edgeworth's past. Uh. Hey, this looks just like where I work. I work for a record set, so... I know all about these. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> yep. Yep, I know that all too well. I know that all too well. Ten years of files and ten years of dust. Well, for us, it's closer to... 200 years of files, but it's, you know, it's fine. 15 years ago, both me and Edge were from 9 years old. We're almost through with the fourth good when he said he transferred. Because the DL6? Nick, I found where the file is. Thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6. I'll go to that file. Case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts. Summary. Summary. Found it. There you go. December 28th, 2001. Yeah, 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. Same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At that time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. Survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? it? Said that his father was shot before his very eyes, so Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. Do I have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. Uh, he had lost that day's case in court and got the elevator with some Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence could not have been suicide. The murder weapon a pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. I've never heard that before. Sounds just like the current case. What's going on here? Hmm. It'll be the guy that my mom got arrested. This is it. The man arrested a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. Who is the clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it, but he was found innocent. Ham and the victim in our case. Right, the suspect, Mr. Yogi, was actually deprived so much that he had brain damage. I stop memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? 
We may be closer than we think. 100%. I guess we generally know what happened in DL6 now. Don't know the sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. We're going to take the whole file. There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. Or we just take what we think we'll need. Yogi is 100% the fucking caretaker, right? It's probably all we'll be able to find here. No odds left is tomorrow's trial. I wonder how dad will do testifying in court. Well, dad was obviously Yogi. Huh? All right. Yes, we'll save. And we'll end off this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.